Let's look at converting binary to hexadecimal. It's helpful to have a conversion table written out, and you can create this table very quickly. Start with all zeros, four zeros in binary, and count all the way up to 1111 in binary. And you can do this easily by starting with the ones column, just count 010101 all the way down. Next column over is called the twos column. Count with two zeros, two ones, two zeros, two ones all the way down. The next column over is called the fours column and count with four zeros, then four ones, four zeros, four ones. And finally, this last column is called the eights column in binary and count with eight zeros and then eight ones. And so doing that, you can very quickly create this table. Next to it, count from zero through nine and that gives you your 10, hex, your 10 decimal digits. But since we're converting to hexadecimal, that means base 16. We need six more symbols. And so uh, the symbols they decided to use uh, to make it easy on our keyboard to type this stuff in, uh, they just used the letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F. A actually then, instead of the letter A, think of it as uh, a symbol meaning 10. And B is a symbol meaning 11, C is 12, D is uh, 13, E is 14, and F is 15. Okay, well once you have that table written out, the conversion is very simple. Uh, here's an 8-bit binary number. Start on the right-hand side and count over 4 bits. And just break your number up into separate 4-bit patterns, but start on the right. If you have uh, a, a couple of bits here, um, you could fill in with leading zeros to make it a 4-bit number if that's easier for you. And so we have the pattern 1100. So just look that up on your table. 1100, that's the symbol C. So we'll write a C down. And then 1010, find that on the table. And you see that's the letter A, the symbol A, I should say. And so that's it. We've converted our binary number into hexadecimal. And the process is so quick and easy, uh, computer professionals like to use hexadecimal numbers to represent binary numbers. And uh, a lot of times we'll write a little subscript 2 there for binary to mean we're in base 2. Hexadecimal, you'd write a 16 to indicate this is a hexadecimal number. Let's try another one. Here we have a 16-bit number. That would be kind of hard to convert to decimal. You'd have to write the column weightings up here, and they get bigger and bigger as you go. When you convert to hexadecimal, though, you don't have to do that. It's much easier. Just break your number up into four bits at a time and then look it up on the table. Do you see what this pattern is? 0111, one, one. it's just the number seven. And then four ones in a row, you'll quickly memorize that one. It's the symbol F. And then 1011, one, one. have to look that one up. 1011, one, one. that's the symbol B. And 0011, one, one. it's just the number three. So there we go, we've converted this binary number into hexadecimal.